As summer slowly turns to fall, TV Kojiko is about to take you back to July. It was then that our TV Kojiko crew spent three days embedded with musicians and fans on Henley Island. Cicada Fest, a weekend celebration of Roots music, saw bands from across North America play, but the festival itself has its origins right here in Niagara. Cicada Fest was born out of one man's simple desire to have a place to perform at home. I never really played around here very much. I, I played all elsewhere and, and, uh, and one of my, like, I mean I love this place and it, and it sort of bummed me out that I didn't have a place to play in around here and, and for original music and songwriter stuff because it, it's it's definitely a different thing you know and and uh, and there's not it's just there was I, I I don't know of any place for it you know that's specifically just for music and songwriting and it's really really cool because it has grown over the years and there's people coming out and and then they're getting exposed to the other great songwriters so it sort of it sort of makes me feel really really good it's pretty amazing and I never expected it you know Mark Youngers explains Cicada Fest from a musician's point of view. Even though the music is, you know, pretty well divert, um, diversified, there, um, it's uh, there's a vibe to it. There's, it's not a competition. You know, that's the best way I can put it. There's a spirit to the thing, and all of the musicians that are play at this thing, and that's why I really enjoy coming to it because it's not a competition. All the musicians help each other. You know. And out in the real world, it's not always like that, you know? Roger Marin's friendship with Mark Youngers has allowed Marin to tour extensively in the Lone Star State. The more Marin tours Texas, the more musicians he meets, and talk quickly turns to a little music festival in Port Dalhousie. I say, I just say, we're running this festival up in Canada, and it's a beautiful place, and it's not a whole lot of people it's real small we're growing it up um, but we'd love to have you come and you know what they've they've just been they've just been great they, they 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 agree and now it's like and actually the word's getting around and that I've been trying to put this on with Tom and stuff and and uh, so people are starting to call us and it's like I'm blown away and, and then some of the people that call me like they're, they're friends of mine and they got great careers and I, I know I know how hard they work and and how much they draw and of course they don't tour Canada at all, so they, of course nobody knows them. And I, I explained to them, I'm like, well, you know, I, I mean, we, we're real small and it's like, they don't even care about the money, they don't care about anything, they just, some something got around to all these other people, like that songwriters and bands, that it's a, it's a great feeling and it's a good vibe and they come to do that, which just blows my mind. John Evans is the latest Texan to make the trek to Cicada Fest. It's good to be here, man. It's our first year, and my buddy Hayes Carl's played played it before, and Adam Carroll's played it before, and and uh, they said it's a good time, so here we are. What's your impressions? You've been here for th three days now. Well, when we first got here, it was kind of like going back to Mayberry, man. The little town is awesome. Clean town, and then at night it starts hopping down the street. I'm not sure what the... the uh, I don't know exactly what town I'm in, or how to. Is how do you pronounce it? Port Dalhousie. Dalhousie. There's no Dalhousie or Port Dalhousie. It's awesome. That's what I thought it was. But uh, yeah, man, I've loved it. It's been awesome. The festival's origins date back to concerts in Tom Lepp's backyard. Lepp says it's important to maintain the innocence that is the heart of Cicada Fest. We had to move it out. I mean, it was okay. My neighbors were good with it. Everyone was good with it. But it was just time to open it up so it could grow more. I mean, that was it, right? You got 400 people, 450 people in your backyard. You know, it's it's not going to get much bigger than that. Uh, now this has the potential to be twice that every day. Is there, a, I wouldn't say a conflict, but is there kind of a discussion about how do we keep this small and intimate and grow it at the same time? What's your philosophy on? where this festival is and where you want it to be? Well, we're headed in the direction, we don't have to have, you know, we don't have to pack this place um, to, to get what we want out of it. What we need to do is um, be very cognizant of the vibe. The same musicians you see perform at Cicada Fest, you see minutes later mingling with the audience and settling in to enjoy the next band that takes the stage. Because, I, I mean, I... I've been fortunate to play a lot of festivals all across different countries in Australia and Europe. And you know what? I'm actually pretty proud to say that this is pretty unique.
it really is and uh it's unique there's no green room there's no there's no like volunteer shirts running around there's no like there's no like divided lines it's just like we're just all here and we're all we're all we're all just human you know and and, uh and like there's people who write songs and there's people who are electricians and there's people who are whatever you know what they do and it's where we're just all hanging out and i think that's that's a different vibe because that doesn't usually happen in festivals usually there's a green room there's a backstage you got to stay away and it's like and it doesn't make any sense because i mean well what's what's the point right Tune in Thursdays at 10 and Sundays at 6.30 for the Cicada Fest concert series. Our 10 weeks of coverage begins with a Made in Niagara double bill. Roger Marin and Jesse Reed kick things off right here on TV Kojiko.